it to mention that this is my jam East side, come alive, it's time to party tonight West side, clear your mind, unwind Midwest, we the best, so let's party till the lights come on Cause I don't give a what, just get in my zone Okay, we're getting ready for school. You know what's cracking like that? Why you acting like Oh, that? I almost and forgot. I got to get your lunch. That's Landy. Now you act right by the end of the night you get the key with the south side ball. Twist that finish. Put five. All right. Did you do you have everything? Do you have your homework? Mom. I know, I know. I just want to make sure you have everything. All right, get on out of here before you miss your bus. Have a good day, Star. Okay, babe. She's getting big. Don't remind me. I love your coffee. <laughs> well, what do you have on your agenda for today? I got a heavy caseload today. I got to accompany a couple clients to the landlord and tenant courts. After this pandemic, these landlords want their money. Ooh, it must be tough watching so many people trying to navigate services post pandemic. Yeah, it's like everybody needs some help in some form or another. My clients think of a miracle worker instead of a caseworker. They look at me crazy when I say I'm a mental health, not housing. But Danny, you do know that when someone is in jeopardy of losing their housing, it affects them mentally, right? Yeah, and that's why I work as hard as I do. <laughs> yes, then that you, you do. But you know what? Hmm. You're built for this. <laughs> and I'm sure that you're clients love having you as their case manager and this case manager appreciates having you as his wife <laughs> well this wife has to go get ready because i've got a busy day as well oh hey mary yeah. did you respond to that letter from star's teacher no i haven't i think you should not now danny How was your day at school today? It was good, Miss Drake. I done much better. Oh, that's good, Star. Did Miss Drake say anything else? It doesn't turn back yet. Oh, we will. Mom and Dad, can I get more? Miss Drake? Well, we don't see why he can't. Yay, it's a have fun. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have fun. And I'll call their girl's parents, okay? Thank you, Mom Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. I I understand. Oh, listen, Miss Drake, can we talk another time? I am just so busy right now. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Goodbye. That woman, she will not stop calling me. Marilyn, you're not letting Star reach your full potential. I'm protecting Star. For protecting her how? By advocating for her. She can't advocate for herself. Yeah, that's what you say, but Marilyn, for 10, I've been your friend 10 years, and I really watch you have a tight grip on her. You really do. Well, she's my daughter, Khadija. I'll do whatever's necessary. She's growing up, though, Marilyn. Don't you think I know that? That act like it. You know, furthermore, this is not the time or the place. It would never be the time or place when it comes to start, or Merlin. Can you all excuse us? Kadiza, let's go to my office. Don't mind us. 
Uh-uh. That little girl is very bright. My niece says star and her friends be doing them videos and they got a lot of followers too. These kids so advanced these days, they make me feel ancient with technology. All she does is work and smother that girl. Mm. She needs to learn her live. Let her live? How's she gonna do that? She'll be lost without her. Star is her world. Well, you know some parents with special needs kids just scared. Well, it don't help them. It surely hurt them. And I agree, but that's her daughter, and she has her feelings. Yeah. So, in a change in time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kanisha, why you keep drilling me about how I treat Star? Because, Merlin, you're my sister. You're like my sister. I want you to see things from the real world. But this real world is cruel, and I'll do anything to protect my Star. I won't allow her to be the subject of ridicule and hurt. Unless you plan on living on a remote island or on another planet or something, you can't protect Star from everything, Merlin. But I can sure try. So you exercise your faith in everything except for Star? My faith in God is strong. I don't waver. And it's my faith in God that allows me to have the strength to even protect Star. So your wills? But not God's will. So what do Daddy say then? Wait, wait, wait. Pump your brakes. First off, don't judge my relationship with God. And secondly, this is not about Danny. This is about Star. But Danny does have a say, no. Merlin. I'm through. I am over this conversation. I love you. And I just want what's best for you and Star. That's it, Merlin. I know you do. And another thing. You gotta stop bringing up our private stuff in front of these clients. Girl, clients. <laughs> They've been coming to us for years, Merlin. And you know our motto. Yeah. You're not clients. clients. You're family. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I know. I'm not a genius, but Star is an amazing girl. And she does not let Down Syndrome stop her. Yeah, she is. You're right. But you know what? Let's get back to work because we've got our family waiting for us. Did your mom say yes or no? She got the answer. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll answer something. I hope so. Me too. I want to do it. We know you do. Here, this is for you, Star. I hope you like it. Well, it makes a mistake. You're welcome. And this one's for you, Paris. Thanks. Oh, I'll get it. Okay. Oh, nice Hi, Miss Drake. Hi. What a surprise. Is everything okay? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's fine. Come on in. Hi, Miss Drake. Hi, girls. How are you? Um, is everything um, all right? I tried calling you a bit. Oh, no, it's fine. Can I get you anything to drink? No, no, thanks. Okay, great. Let's have a seat. Okay. So, Miss Drake, what can I do for you? Is Star in some kind of trouble or something? Oh, no, not at all. I tried calling and uh, I sent a letter home. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I've just been so busy these days. <laughs> it's okay, Mrs. Cooper. Star is a wonderful and gifted young lady. I know. Excuse me. Star, can you and the girls go outside and play while I have a chat with Miss Drake? Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. Well, I won't be long. This is uh, some of Star's classwork. And here are some of her uh, poems that she wrote. Oh. Well, these are... Oh, great. I, I, I love these. Mrs. Cooper, Star is a wonderful and gifted young lady. We really would like her to share one of her poems at the end of the year program. 
I don't think that's such a good idea. I, I don't think Star's ready for something so big. That's nice, Miss Drake, but I know people, and they can be cruel, especially kids. I mean, do you know what I go through trying to protect Star? Well, all due respect, Mrs. Cooper, Star is a wonderful and gifted young lady, and she really wants to participate in this program. Star doesn't make those kinds of decisions. I do. And as far as Mr. Cooper goes, well, I speak on behalf of both of us. Well, all due respect, Mrs. Cooper, Star is really tough. And all the students like her. She's amazing. We really would like her to share one of her poems at the end of the year program. Miss Drake, the girls told me you were here. What do we owe the pleasure of your visit? Hi, Mr. Cooper. I was just telling... Oh! <laughs> I'll fill him in, Miss Drake. You have yourself a good weekend, all right? Oh, well, you enjoy your weekend, too. What was that all about? Not now, Danny. Yet. Not yet. See you at school. Hold out. Hey, how you Peace doing, brother? Appreciate you. What if I? All right. Be easy, bro. All right, girls, pizza's here. Pizza. Thank God. All right, you guys eat up. I'll be right back, okay? Hi. Okay. Right. Give me, who wants the first slice? Why always me? What's wrong, Star? I'm going to read my poem. Tell your parents. Yeah, tell them. My mom did man. Wait a minute, let me show you something. What is that? Yeah, yeah, what is that? It's called a Mickey button. A what? A Mickey button. What, what for? For food. Yeah, you're eating now. I know, but I don't get enough calories, so at night I have a liquid tube go through my stomach at night. Wow. How long have you had that? Since I was a year old. Really? Yes. How do you deal with it? Does it hurt? I live a normal life and no, it doesn't hurt. My little sister has special needs. She's always trying something new. My mom says she has a free spirit. That's nice. Yeah, it is. My mom says God don't make no mistakes and my little sister doesn't let anything stop her. That's nice. Star, you can do what? Whatever you put your mind to. I wish my mom believed that. You have to give her a chance, Marilyn. A chance to do what, Danny? Huh? A chance to explore. What are you so afraid of? Well, am I the only one that sees that star is different? I don't see her as different. I see a bright, beautiful little girl. And reading her poem would be so good. Well, yes, that may be good. But I won't have our star as the school spectacle. I don't want people looking and staring at her and laughing at her. You can't be serious. I am. You know what I think? What do you think, Danny? I think you're ashamed of our star. 
You act like it's protection, but in reality, you're the one that's holding her back. How dare you? You have no idea about- About what? She just wants to read a poem for God's sake. And you know what? I approved of her participation in the inclusion program. You did what, Danny? Behind my back? For real? <laughs> you didn't feel the need to share that with me? You didn't respond to any of the notices from Star School. Star needs this program. Star needs strict supervision in smaller classrooms, Danny. That's what you want, Marilyn. Not Star. She wants to be a part of, not a part from. She just wanted to read home for God's sake. I don't know. Don't you see how happy she's been lately? No. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Star needs to know that we support her and we got her back. And we're in this together. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't want to do that or else you wouldn't have called me. She is a baby. Your mom loves you, Star. No, she doesn't. I'm so Get in the car. I'm taking you home. Yeah. Thank you so much again, Miss Drake. It's no problem. No problem at all. Well, I better get going. I'll let myself out. See you in school, sir. Uh, okay. Thank you again, Miss Drake. No so problem. as fast as I could. Ooh, what's going on? So are you okay? Where were you? She's fine, Mama. Star, I know you're upset. And you're too young to understand this. Marilyn. Not now, Danny. If not now, then when? When I say so. Okay. What is it, sweetheart? I, I can't do it. I know you can. You really want to do this, don't you? Yes, Daddy. Star, you can do it next year. I'll even help you get ready for it. I promise. I'll have now. Next year, Star, and that's final. Wait a minute. 
stop, do us grow lots of favor and um, leave for a moment. Look, don't look at me, it's her. You both listen to me real good. My granddaughter really wants this. You need to allow her to follow her dreams. I know what it's like to be afraid. I did the same thing to your brother. But mama, there's no buts. I was more focused on his disability than his capabilities. And now that he's not here, I just, I just regret not giving him a chance to explore. This is different, Mama. That was, that was a long time ago. Is it? Star deserves a good quality of life. And what you're doing is not helping her. I keep trying to explain that to her. Please, don't hinder her. You remember DeHondra Dixon? May God bless that poor angel soul. Now her family supported her in everything she did. She lived her best life. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Star adored her from the first time they met at the Galen. Star should have a say in what she does. Please, let her read her poem. Just do it next year, Mom. You're wrong about this. But I've said my piece. Good you all look fabulous. I would like to welcome you all to the Highlands Education Center end of the year program. You have all worked so hard. Give yourselves a round of applause for all of your hard work. I'd like to give a special shout out to Ms. Drakes for always being persistent and making sure that our classrooms were inclusive. <laughs> So let's get started. How about we introduce our special education coordinator, Mr. Russell. Mr. Russell. Thank you, Mrs. Burns. I would like to say that I am so glad to be a staff member at this school. This is a school where together, staff and students work hard to be the very best that we can be. Now, dealing with intellectual disabilities can be hard, but I don't give up. I have a lot of support especially for my family. Mm -hmm. um, many of y'all remind me a lot of myself. You're so creative and smart. And that's why I'm glad to be a staff rep. Okay. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough about me. Now, 
I give to y'all. I set up um, school mentor, Mrs. Scale. This next person is just remarkable. She lights up every room she enters. She's not afraid to take chances. She's become very popular. She fits right in with our programs. We are proud of how far she's come. And without further ado, I give you our very own Star Cooper. Hi, Hi. 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 That is my family. Woo. I am you, my phone. I am not what like you are in me. Mm -hmm. I am unique. I am beautiful. I can see. Mm -hmm. I am. I am not you. I can talk. And I remember, yeah. I'll start with my heart. Yeah. I, I am strong. I am born. I am beautiful. I am unique. I am unique. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Can you, can you see? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 